Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Winch here with Defenders USA. Hey, I'm going to try a different drill here, something you can also try. This is a target you can download online. And I'm going to take you up so you can see it. This is a target from, uh, from T-Rex Arms that I found online. It's got a series of dots. Now, it's hard to see the subdued lettering here. But on these first six dots, you're simply going to go from the compressed ready and compress ready drive it out make your shot looks like there's one shot at that dot and i think they're about one inch circle dot the next one you're going to draw fire one round then the next one you're going to draw transition the gun at least it says transition so transition the gun to your non-dominant hand make your shot then on the last one it's timed so the last row it's timed you're going to on the beeper draw shoot and then we're going to record every one of them so we've got six times four so we got 24 rounds here and I think it's a really good training tool so just working the fundamentals right especially for the first bit here we're not going fast we're just working through this now I have a timer on my hip here right I have one of these timers right here if you can see it and when I get to the draw time section we'll do that okay so just gonna take about 24 rounds doing this from three yards okay working on good trigger press, grip, everything else. Um, one thing, one small note uh, here. I'm using the 32 MOA circle on my 507C Hollison here. And I've, I'm have i just beginning to experiment with the 32 MOA circle. So if you wanna look them up online, you can see it. You can see what I'm talking about. There's a two MOA dot, 32 MOA circle, or a 32 MOA dot inside, or a two MOA dot inside a 32 MOA circle. I'm running just the circle. Uh, a couple different smart people do that, and I want to try it out and see if it works because I really like the concept of looking through the center of the circle, being able to see your target. So I'm going to try it out. It's been a kind of an experimentation day for me, and I'm going to try it on this target right here. Okay, here we go. So going from the compressed, six rounds. Okay, if you saw it, went right in the dot. Okay, it's in the dot, slightly low, but it's in the dot. Okay, in the dot, I had a little bit of a gap in my palms and I can feel it right here. So because of that, the gun moved in my hand, it's in the dot. It's slightly to, we'd put it the nine o'clock, but it's in the dot, so that's good. Almost perfect. Okay, a little bit of a gap here and I can feel it. I felt it, it's in the dot, but I felt it. So I'm gonna fix that this time. <laughs> oh, let me show you that line. So that last one, I completely relaxed my pinkies. I got lazy. I knew I was about done, right? I got lazy. So there's the last one and it went low. Grip was good until I pulled the trigger and I relaxed my pinkies, which drove the gun down, but you can see the others. So they're here. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna draw and fire one round. Draw, fire one round. It's not timed. I'm just working draw stroke, fundamentals, efficiency, and I'm not going fast. I'm actually gonna go very slow with this because I wanna get everything perfect. All right, smack in the center of the dot. Smack in the center of the dot. Dead, absolute center of the dot. Went too long on that. I felt my wrists break a little bit. They broke up. Um, I kind of healed it is what I did. I didn't keep it solid, my wrist. Um, I relaxed my pinkies a little bit, but I pushed at the same time. So it's touching the dot, but it's half in, half out at the very top of the dot. I took way too long, way, way, way too long on that one. And in the taking too long, over confirming things, not trusting it, um, I ended up relaxing my pinkies and the shot went low. So it's actually about, uh, about half an inch or so, almost three quarters of an inch, slightly low and slightly right. Totally my fault, bad grip, everything. 
Okay, I'm going a little bit long with that one, but it's pretty much in the dot. So let's go up here, you can see these real quick. So from a draw stroke, so from a draw stroke, first one, second one, third one, fourth one, okay, that's the one I healed a little bit. Here I relaxed my pinkies completely, I knew it, so I tried to fix it on the next one, and it went right there. Okay, so for this line, we're going to transition. Now, note here, I've never been the world's greatest non-dominant hand shooter. So, let's give it a try. Yeah, you see. Dead center. Like, perfect. Couldn't be better. Oh. Literally, couldn't be better. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, so I way over confirmed that one, started shaking, everything else. It's not even touching the dot, it's over actually to the left hand side of the dot by about, oh, about a half inch. So, eh, not good. Okay, same thing, a little bit to the left. It might even be touching the line of the black dot, but it's a little bit left. I also know why I didn't get my grip on this side right, so I'm gonna fix that this time. Okay, I shot at the wrong dot, okay? Boys and girls, I'm not doing too good on this line. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna show you this target. We're not even going to talk about it, okay? Just just go away. Go away. All right, for the next line, I don't want to see my target. For the next line, for this one down here, in fact, let me get a stapler real quick. So, you know what this tells me? This tells me that I need to go out and do some work on my non-dominant hand shooting. You know, it's pretty sad I can't hit a one-inch dot from three yards. I should be able to do that all day. Um, I think there's a couple different reasons, but I don't want to give you excuses. I didn't hit the target. Okay, so for this one, now all six of these, we're going to go timed. It's two-handed, and we're going to go timed. So I'm on the clock, and we'll just go on the beep. Here we go. Okay, it's in the dot, and it's 2.49. 2.49, so we have 2.49. Let's do it again. Hope you can see this. Here we go. It's in the dot. 2.43. I guess I'm being somewhat consistent, I guess. I'd like to go faster than that. 2.43. I'd like to go way faster. Here we go. <laughs> 2.30. I loosed my pink at the t at the moment of pull, shanked it, and that's not touching the dot. So that's a miss to me. And that was 2.30. I mean, if it was at least touching the dot, it's so close you'd think it is, but I'm not going to give it to myself. Okay, next one. Oh! Okay, we're gonna do that again. Just simply out. There we go. Okay, so I missed that one pretty hard. It's over here, but intended for that dot. That was done in a 
2.02 seconds. So 2.02, .02, had I waited maybe a tenth of a second longer, confirmed it, I'd have hit that. Okay, so rushed a little bit and the grip wasn't perfect. That's my fault, okay? Let's do it one last time. Actually, we have two more times to go. Okay, almost dead center of the dot. 2.52, so I took a long time and I felt it. I was hanging out there. 2.52. We'll come back at this and look at it here in a minute. One last one, one last one. All right, Adam, let's get this one faster. Let's do better. Let's get it. Stand by, stand by. Got caught up in my shirt. All right, here we go. Let's do it one more time. Okay, it's in the dot. I felt like I took just forever. That was 2.23. 2.23. So 2.23. All right. <laughs> you got to promise me something. That third line of dots that uh, I used a uh, my non-dominant hand for. You got to promise me you won't look at that. Okay. Don't look. Okay. So let's go. Don't look at this line. That doesn't count. Adam sucks. He's got to fix it. So down here. First one, 2.49. Second, 2.43. Third, 2.30. And notice I barely missed, but it is a total miss. Next one, 2.02. .02. Hurried way too fast. I didn't have a good seal. And notice my shot went there. So really about an inch off. Fifth one, 2.52. Pretty good. Last one, six one, 2.23. Touching the dot. So there you go. Boys and girls, there's a good, oh, I don't know. Um, 24 round count drill that you can work well. And honestly, nobody's explained this target to me. I just found it, printed it, thought it was looking good. This says transition. You can barely see it in subdued letter. So I'm assuming that means transition your left hand. Um, maybe that means transition one hand. I don't know. I'll go look up the rules. But anyways, we'll work through that one. So when we look at it, we've got one total miss right there. One total miss right there. Well, total miss, total miss. Total miss. That one's actually touching. Total miss. So there's three, four, five. So five misses out of 24. Um, not great, but you know. Uh, and I'd be curious what their time standards are for this. I'd say if you can do this in two to two and a half seconds or less on the draw strokes from concealment, probably not bad, but that's just me. Anyways, just something you can go practice pretty low round count, and I'd really recommend spend a lot of time in dry fire. Um, I'm starting to use a Mantis thing. In fact, I'm starting to, I'm going to be joining the Mantis group that you can do online with each other and compete with each other around the world and learn from each other. And there's also an active self-protection dry fire Facebook group. So I'm part of that. I've done nothing with it, but I know that I want to increase my own skills. So I'm going to join that too and start doing dry fire, which I encourage you to do too, right? The more you can learn to dry fire and fix things, especially if you have a Mantis 10X or X10, whatever it is. Uh, if you buy that thing, they're about 250 bucks. They're worth every penny. Um, I'm already seeing some improvement in areas just as I work through that thing. I encourage you to do it too. But uh, low round count drill, Adam Winch, Defenders USA. Uh, take care and train thoughtfully.